Hi guys, uh, we are handling a pretty serious problem here. I don't think it's time for jokes, we are entrepreneurs. So we really want to handle something really serious. This is called Shastra and it's your social university, right? So, all right, anyone can re remember these things? What these are? Quick history lesson? Not in the university. Absolutely. And look at what's happened now, right? We have the highest unemployment number of people unemployed in the world. Now, isn't that a little bit of an irony? Now it's a big early. So what we need to do is put India back on the map. Clearly we can't build the Harvards and MITs again, brick and mortar. But what we can do is build, build it online. So let's make this difference between education and learning. Institutionalized education and learning. There's a big difference here. And you can read it. It's pretty lonely. All of you who have studied a course know that. It's monotonous, boring as hell. Formal, you need to worry about degrees. It's expensive and it's full time for your course, four years of your life. Goes on a B.Tech in computer science and you're running without a job. Not very nice. On the other hand, on the other hand, uh, learning is a collaborative experience. It's fun, it's informal. It involves skill sets which gets you jobs. It's inexpensive, it costs you hardly anything with this paper. Or surf the web, you can do it anytime you want. An example is a Python developer who can get a job. Now, yeah, that's a little line, I don't know her, but after that I'm going to really follow what she's saying, right? <coughs> Okay, let's do a quick two by two matrix. On, on one side, we got a holistic learning value and on the other, we got user reach. Google reaches everybody, right? But the problem is that there is no knowledge out there. It's information. Knowledge has to be continuously you know, you engaged to be able to learn something. On the other hand, you have Quora, you got Wikipedia, mainly QA based, again, only content platforms, but you can't simulate real world learning there. And we got the big uh, B2B players, right? You can you got to write all these people. And the big problem there is, is that it is very, very formalized. We realize that informal networks are a lot more effective in communication flow. There's a lack of consumerization and it's a very, very rigid courseware. Obviously, in a 2x2 two two matrix, that's where we want to be, right? High and to the right. Next. So, yeah, that's Shastra. Shastra is a learn-teach platform that facilitates knowledge transfer based on a user's social circles and interest in a gamified environment. Now, the Zen of Shastra, this is what we're about. Learning is not more fun with friends. Learning is a lot more effective when it's personalized to your interests. Work readiness, right? Unemployability is a huge factor today problem. Every learned person can be a teacher. I'll get to how you can do that. Healthy competition through gamification and 100% eco-friendly. We hate kids carrying heavy bags, right? That's child labor. We should stop that. <coughs> so let me run you through uh, a quick demo of what we have. So we've got something very, very fun, I mean, reasonably functional here. So this, this particular line is very important. Technical or specialized knowledge right, in an area of practice. So we can only register via Facebook because it helps us know who you are. There's no of other, other registration on this. So the moment you register, you actually get onto this kind of a platform, right? So there's a learn and a teach aspect. Now every individual, we've all, you know, read articles in Wikipedia, how many have contributed? We've seen videos, how many have contributed videos to YouTube? Now we need to make it in such a way that an individual is able to do both. And depending on now, the moment you search for, you know, learning a lesson, we got a whole bunch of people there who are able to teach stuff to you. Now, the moment you have a person out there, you know there's a connect. You know there's a mentoring that can happen, right, online. You can also follow them. And on the other side is, is your, basically, your, your teaching platform, right? So, I'll explain more about how you can press stuff out. And, yeah, this is what your content is. Let's get to the uh, learning bit, right? This is where you learn your stuff. You can learn based on your interests. And we already pull this out the moment you register on Facebook. There's a difference between having an interest and pursuing an interest, right? The moment you're getting information about your interest, you know how to evolve in that particular line. So let's take an example of how we add a little bit of value in content creation. <clears throat> this is how we go. Yeah, we basically have a beautiful uh, user experience, right? We'll be creating a mashup of, of content from across the internet through a, a tool that I'll show you later. Now, we go next. Quick, quick, I'm running out of time. And yeah, this is basically your get to the uh, teaching platform. This is how you can publish stuff out. Now you can basically publish stuff through our, through our uh, platform, right? And you can create very, very rich interactive content. Now learning is made a lot more fun the moment you're able to put things in a nice and fun way. Now you can, you know, put stuff up, you can publish it out to people, people can follow you based on your, uh, your ratings. And yeah, that's basically an example of how we do it. Let's get to the next slide quick, now. Right, so that was really quick. We have the gamify layer. I could not really, you know, focus on that. But you like teachers, right? The way you have, that's five seconds. Yeah. All right, so I'm almost done. So business model quick. 
Contextual ads, it's a given, right? Service fees on one-time transactions and consumer subscriptions. Any questions? So, uh, is it real time or uh, non real time? It's real time. No, it's like asynchronous teaching or asynchronous teaching. Right, it's a lot like Facebook, right? The moment you put out information, if that person is accessible, he can contact you and you can actually start interacting as with them. If he's not available, it's always on your logs, you can always get back to him and be in touch. How do you, another two how, how do you rate the teacher? Right, so we have a gamified aspect in that, which is basically badges. Based on a person's interest, the people who take his course and his peers can basically rate him, right? So, uh, as opposed to brick and mortar learning, where people graduate from a lecturer to uh, emeritus professor, based on the time they spend, here we have an actual meritocracy going on. You actually like, you know, people who, who actually like what you do can vote you up and you grow a lot faster on, on, on you know, in your specified way. Yeah. Right. So let me ask you a first question. Now, the moment that, there's no platform like this before. The moment you have a social element to it and interest, and you're able to actually get information that you want, you have an interest, all right. But how do you know how you pursue that interest without getting information on it, right? So the moment you have that aspect, we are going to grip you based on content. While there is Eduride and you know other companies that have very very heavy content. We have something that's amazing here, where you can put it in a very, very graphic and fun way, right? We're not really a content platform, we provide the social layer and the interest graph along with the communication. So clearly differentiated, I hope people see a lot of value in it, so that's why they will stay. So can I have a second question? Right, how do we remain or remove offline content? Yeah, the main reason we have it online... engage with your platform. Right. So it's okay, I mean, for us... the chat yeah. Right, that's true. You can do it once, but you really can't do it again. So it's okay. I mean, we work on a trust economy. The internet is trust-based. So the thing is, we are trying to empower a person sitting here learning French from an authentic French guy in France. So if you can do that offline and you can get in touch with him, I mean, you know, you really don't need it. We are useless to you. But we are trying to empower that to happen. We want that to happen to a mass market. And not just French, you can learn cooking, guitars, or whatever you want, based on what you like. So, I would recommend you to... One last question. Uh, maybe go to it. So, this is a narrow one. So, I, I, I was sorry, I ran out of time. So, yeah. basically, trying to launch. So, our launch would be reasonably niche specific. Yeah.